When? When are we playing Sons when? of the Forest? We've been seeing a lot of comments. Lots. Sure. Lots and lots of comments. Understandably. Saying, the Sons of the Forest is out. Well, when are you guys going to play it? Um, the answer is when they probably patch a few things in. And one of them, Big, that you just uh, I just learned I've, about from you. I've talked to some people that have played the, gr- played the game start to finish, and the game's not finished quite yet. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to really start it on this channel until we know the game's finished. Right. You so know. it could be a while then. It could be a while. But yeah, I mean, we'll get to it eventually. But it's there. It's out. Yeah. And and I'm excited to play it. But Some of it is also, um, let's not lie here. Uh, long dark, you guys are just killing it. That's true. That is true. Originally, I thought um, it was like, oh, when Sons of the Forest comes out, I'll be able to jump on that. Uh, we should be dead in the long dark by then. Neebs and I are uh, we're still alive somehow. This might be that might be even a spoiler. That is a spoiler. Might be. I mean, yeah, there's an episode coming. <laughs> 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 there's yeah. at least one more episode next week. Yeah. So, so you're caught up. Forward. Is that it? Like, so I, no. You know what? That's another thing I need to talk about. Um, the long dark will probably probably be. Um, every other week now because yeah. I did catch up to yeah. myself. I was doing really good about putting them out every week, yeah. mm-hmm. um, but I've caught up to myself, and so now it's like, okay, I need uh, two weeks to work on it. Sure, I could probably get it done if I have like two. If a good, re- we have a good recording session, and I have two episodes in one, and I have both weekends free, I could probably get it done. But more than likely, it's going to be every other week. You've got a good system on that on how you're cutting those. It's yeah. it's nice. It's uh, I can feel it. I can feel that that honed in. Oh it's yeah, nice. no, I love doing the series. It's it's been a lot of fun. It's gonna be a, a pretty badass supercut too. You'll be able to follow that from start to finish. Yeah. I started to watch like uh, I don't know, maybe like twenty minutes of one episode, like, and I was enjoying it. But it was just a random in the middle, like, because I haven't. It's one series I've watched the least of. Yeah, it's that good played out vibe. Like you can feel all the, you know, nice and slow kind of vibe. Yeah, and that, yeah, it's um. It, you know, it's similar when you play the game. It's like you, you start to get familiar with places. Yeah. Um, you know, those little, you have these little bases and they become your home and you got your stuff everywhere. Yeah. But then you start seeing your stuff dwindle. Yeah. And then you're just like, God, I got to go. Yeah. I only have three days worth of food. Yeah. I love it. I love the game. It's, it's slow paced, but man, it's like when shit goes down, it really goes down. Yeah. It's meaningful. So back to the, uh, I guess, Sons of the Forest, at least. So we're going to be. Holding off on that, but you've yeah. played it some. I've some played enough it some. to have more opinions because last time when we spoke about it, yeah, in some detail, you hadn't played it yet. Sums of the forest. Yes, yeah, so, I mean from what I've played, I haven't played much. I love uh, the, um, my, the favorite thing is Kelvin. Kelvin, Just ha- that's having that little AI companion because we played it on the stream for like what three hours, and I've played it a little bit mm-hmm. on the side. Yeah, but I mean I haven't played it much. I've been into the caves once or twice. Scary as hell as always. Mm-hmm. I've purposefully not watched <laughs> uh, much at all, but yeah. it's amazing how just from the titles of YouTube videos <laughs> say a lot in yeah. some cases, yeah. like some people saying it's just like the best survival game, best horror survival, all that shit. Like, yeah, I'm all looking... the accolades are in the titles. Oh, yeah, read, we'll get so, there. Yeah. We got some yeah. good, good survival game. I mean, Grounded Grounded is a lot of fun. Yeah, Grounded. I really, really enjoy Grounded. And there's quite, a ton of game there. Like as a, a, as a series, we got a we got a ways to go too. That's what you keep on saying. I mean, yeah, there's there's a chunk of map we haven't even gotten to. The amount they've um I mean the map's big, but it's not like crazy gigantic or anything. Yeah, it is. You can probably run across it in five minutes. Exactly. If you like if you know exactly where to go. Like, yeah. So once, what they've know, crammed into that yeah. above and well below ground too is uh is very impressive. Yeah. To keep you uh, consistently entertained. And, and the building mechanics obviously help so you can set up bases everywhere and shit. But yeah, they, they that's a masterfully made game. Yeah, that is a great game to play with friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. if you don't know shit that's coming. Like yeah. It's one of those you kind of just really, really want to not have had any spoilers. Yeah. Yeah, like, I wonder what's around that corner. For sure. Yeah, the exploration in it is it's solid, solid exploration and grounded. Yeah. Enough of the spiders, damn it! I love the spiders. Oh, I, well, hey man, we're I better. Mean, we'll get better. Yeah, we'll yeah. get better at it. We'll get so. better. We'll start kicking some spider butt. Right yeah. now we can, we can beat them, but it's not a, it's not easy. Yeah. But remember when we just ran like <laughs> the biggest little bitches ever oh man episode one was yeah. immediate like <laughs> episode these one things are four. dangerous these things are dangerous we shouldn't go near them because <laughs> my god there's no way we any of us could survive these we things we still react that way though they suck balls i'm i'm still surprised on how far they could see from sometimes I mean, they have, you know you're like yeah. i'm crouching it used to be you know that's one thing they patched in it used to be even further 
Dude, it's like uh, in real life though, a spider like they're gonna sense movement. They're hunters. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. We're we're kind of big. We're like a, a you know, we're like a we're a mouthful, Good mouthful for them. A yeah, mouthful. And on my front porch the other night, I saw the biggest damn brown spider. You know those little brown spiders we got everywhere around here? Like you're talking a wolf spider. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was huge though. Yeah. Okay. Did well, it have what? Did, was it pregnant though? May have been. It probably was pregnant. It was gigantic. Yeah. It's that's why it had the biggest a big old one I've ever seen. Yeah. Big old butt. It was like, yeah, it was like that damn big. All the babies up. That's okay. the babies. He's yeah. holding up what appears to be baseball size. Yeah. It was big. That's massive. That would that would freak me the fuck out. <laughs> and I think I brought. I've never story. seen one that big. I mean, I've mm-hmm. seen some big ones, but that one, like, okay, wow. It's Holy good you didn't shit. step on it because then all the babies go running everywhere and it's oh, a nightmare. No. Yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah, not, it is a nightmare. Those. I've seen videos. I like of that. those little wolf spiders. They're fine. But that is a that's a mama wolf spider. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they get big. I don't mind a wolf spider. I mm-hmm. like it a wolf spider. We've had such a, a mild spring or like beginning of the year. Yeah. That um oh yeah everything's out in full effect, playing um, already yeah frisbee with Emily the other day and and it was the first day where I just got bombarded once I stood still bombarded by the sand fleas or the noceums as oh no call. already oh yeah. yeah nailed me down at the Live Oak Stadium Park see sand fleas are completely different than noceums I don't I thought- think most people agree I thought that uh, sand fleas and by the way Neebs isn't here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're probably quiet. Oh, hey, hey Neves, you can say something. And, um, Neves is here. He's on a well-deserved vacation. I, yeah, I, yeah. I thought sand fleas were like like little white little things that actually look like fleas. You and know they what? jump on you where Did... no seams are fucking little tiny little flyers that'll bite you. Man, I'll bet these names are just like through across the country. Yeah, like, they're different. Yeah. Like no seams. that's not a scientific term. It's not at it's... all. <laughs> I forget what they're called. Well, I thought it, I thought it was just a... Um, yeah, well, you know yeah. What? I'm gonna look it up. It's science funny... time. It's science time in it's nature science with Simon time. time. Uh-huh. They suck, man. They get in they because I got a bunch of arm hair. They get caught in there and just bite to get out. Mm, yeah. And the biggest nightmare, and I will agree uh, for all the Marines out there. When you are a Marine, it's like, are you a West Coast Marine or are you an East Coast Marine? Because really? there's this big rivalry. Oh yeah, for sure. Like where like you went to boot camp. Yeah. Because West Coast, we had to hike mountains, right? Yeah. But East Coast, they were in the swamps and the noceums. Mm. So, after getting stationed on the East Coast and dealing with these little fuckers, <laughs> you win. Like, that is more of a bitch. Especially, like, the amount of times you have to be in formation and at attention. Ooh, yeah. And they're, they're just at you. chewing oh, away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is god-awful. Ugh. So, for that alone, you win. You did deal with harder fuck a hill but uh <laughs> when you're getting chewed alive <laughs> no i could imagine in boot camp yeah fuck that because they're all over that's down in south carolina Paris yeah Island. yeah oh man what a nightmare yeah that would be all yeah and again i could see yeah doing that fuck. dealing with the bugs oh Not they're fun. just waiting for you to flinch the <laughs> drill instructors right they're yeah. waiting for you to like break out of form power up for springtime with our sponsor factor America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything you need to do on your to-do list. I've eaten a lot of Factor. I order the food, and I've been loving it. Aside from everything tasting great, it has saved me a lot of time and so many trips to the store. And on top of that, I'm eating healthier with Factor because I'm avoiding frozen or fast food. And they have options, baby. Like, half the time, I go with the chef's choice, but they also have keto, vegan and veggie, calorie smart, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. And each meal is prepared fresh and never frozen using the best ingredients and delivered straight to your door. Want to cut back on takeout? Get Factor instead. You'll save a ton of money and the meals are ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. So if you have ever considered trying a ready-to-eat meal kit, then head to factormeals.com slash Neebs50 and use code Neebs50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code Neebs50 at factormeals.com slash Neebs50 to get 50% off your first box. Thank you, Factor. So, uh, sorry, just to go back on this. I can't seem to find a, a proper name, but they're also known as biting midges, <laughs> sand flies, punkies, punkies, and what? sand gnats. 
Okay. Oh, wait. Right. Official, I'm sorry. They are. Officially called Sarah Top, Topogonadia. Yeah, there's no flow to that. No. Mm-mm. Sand gnats. Sand gnats. I like it. What did you say? Pinkies? What Biting was it? Pikes? Uh, punkies. Punkies. Biting punkies. punkies. Punky. No, punkies, sand flies. So What's the biting sand one? Fleas. So sand, sand fleas. fleas. Right. Yeah. No, fleas are different. Sand fleas. Okay, sand fleas are different sorry, sorry. than sand flies. Anyway, sorry. Well, What's the biting one, though? The top one. Okay. Uh, oh, biting midges. M I D G. That's what they are for me. Oh, it's a biting midge. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, midge. I love it when midge bites midge. me. In my arse. Midge has always been a biter. They suck. They yeah, suck. They do. Yeah. I mean, no mosquitoes fun. suck in their own right. These are... Oof. They're just annoying. Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty like, tiny. You know, they're, yeah, yeah, they're just so tiny. They just bug the hell out of you. Yep. Less than an eighth of an inch. Yup. Or they, one to three millimeters in length, actually, so even tinier. And for their size, their bite feels like there's... um. You know, to it's it? got so it's got like that some type of acidic something yeah, going into you. Yeah, a little you. sting in there yeah. that that covers a good area. It's a it's a formidable bite. I think uh, well, my grandfather used to call them dog Peter gnats. <laughs> wow, dog Peter <laughs> was that on the list? Gnats? <laughs> no, I no, I didn't that see that one. Like, yep, you can see all them dog Peter gnats. Is that where they're just flying around? What the fuck does dog? You know, dog Peter thinks of a dog penis, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's gnats flying. I'm just flying wondering around how much a dog you. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> how how many dog peters was he observing? I didn't sure. realize it. Yeah, okay. I just always loved it. Dog peter nets. Those, you know those flies, those <laughs> tiny little flies that fly around dog peters? Yeah, just you know, you're out on a farm, it's hot. You look at the dog, here's his dick. This is just, just in your family. It's yeah, been yeah, for I got a minute. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fascinating. Yeah, I'm calling. At least it didn't say my dick nets. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there are oh. my dick nets. <laughs> yeah, same ones. Peter nets. Peter nets. Yeah, I'm what? not Peter. <laughs> Should I go to the scrap thing? No. Okay, I you won't. Want, then. Yeah, why don't you talk about your scrap thing? Yeah. I'm ta- <laughs> what was go your ahead. name? I said, no, no, no. I said I don't know. I didn't you say. You want to no. talk about Sons of the Forest more? No. I mean, you know what? Yeah. There's. Well, I I was kind of because. You can talk about my if, granddad's dick. We if got it that is, going yeah, too. Got, there you go. Yeah. Titled it, I kind of like to talk a little bit more about it. A Sons little of the bit. Forest, maybe, but I don't. But I also didn't play it. We played it on the stream. I mean, I guess I ran around in there for a little bit. But is there anything else to say except for what was your? We're impression? gonna wait. I mean. Do you have anything it, to bring to the table? Or it not? just looked a lot prettier here. He said, it, "Oh, it's his gorgeous. Favorite, I can't yeah. wait to see the seasons in action. That's something I haven't seen. That's but I yeah, want to. That's another thing. And yeah, no, I, I definitely appreciated Kelvin, but I didn't. I didn't remember seeing any threats during the stream. Mm, they're on the ca- well. No, there was. Um, yeah, we had cannibals after us. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, we were hanging, and I was. Can- I mean, the cannibals are just as weird as the first game. You know, they'll like. You know, sometimes they'll attack you. Sometimes they'll just hang out in the woods and watch you. They'll jump yeah, up in the it. trees, hang in the trees, and just look at you like, man, just they're creepy. Data. Did the did the chick with four legs and four arms? Does she have four legs and four arms? I think three legs, three arms. Okay. Uh, did she come out at all during the stream? Yeah, we saw her. Um, she ran she off, would just right? run off into the woods. Yeah. And I think so the way helped. that works is as long as you don't hit her or do anything violent, she'll eventually warm up to you. Right, exactly. I, rem- I remember that. I just wasn't sure if we saw her, if I was remembering. So you could have her and Kelvin? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, little AI Eventually, teammates. Eventually, yeah. I wonder how long it does take. You guys can see if you want. You know, we got our stuff on Twitch. You'll be able to see us playing there, I guess, if you're subbed. But mm. plug. Um, <laughs> Check out the forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the forest over there on Twitch. You can hear us talk for three hours at a time. Yeah. I started playing this game. I'm going off on a tangent here. But um, I was on Reddit the other day and just... The gaming subreddit mentioned, like, there's this guy making this space game solo, and it's really damn good. Mm. Okay, okay, well, uh, what makes you think it's really damn good? That's well, a bold the, Yeah, Absro. Well, I think people were saying, you know, hey, there's Steam reviews here. <laughs> the Steam reviews are, you know, people are pl- have played 100, 200 hours. Fake media. And it's... <laughs> Come on. And they're saying it's like, man, this game is like for being a solo dev, it's wank, it's wonky right now. But there's a lot of amazing systems in here, and I've been playing it. I've probably played it for a few hours, and I really like the concept of the game. Space game set in this galaxy, and you're, uh, you know, you're an Earthling, a human being, and the game is about like getting humans back together and forming a new human empire, like. 
earthlings or humans just scattered to the wind. Argued and went all different ways. Yeah, and then so this whole galaxy is you know controlled by alien factions or whatever, and then you slowly like take over this galaxy. Who's to say they aren't happy where they've gone to? We aren't. Damn earthlings. Well, yeah. But you can choose which way. You can be like a dictator. You can be. Yeah. It's kind of it's got that RPG Religious element to it. And... The game's called uh, Space Born 2. Space Never Born heard of it. Two. But I started checking it out. Just like, oh, okay, I'll check out this space game. And like, so far, it's pretty cool. Anything with a, a single dev, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And what he's doing, yeah, by himself. Yeah. It's yeah, really damn impressive. So, uh, any info on how long he's been working on it? Nope. Okay. I mean, last week. Yep. Um, well, it's Throwing on it Steam, together. so when was it put up on Steam, do you know? Let's see. Yeah, yeah I can click on look. it and tell you. So I guess it was released February 17th, 2023. Okay. So, so that's not too long ago. No. I mean, that's um, fucking really new. Yeah. Well, good for him. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Solo dev, and apparently he's really responsive. Like, he's on his Discord, he's on Steam, just like, what do you guys want? And then, yeah, he'll add shit in. But you go, you go from being this, like... Little guy with, you know, you have a um, just a solo ship to running an entire fleet. That's dope. That's yeah. a big okay. vision. Yeah. Uh, it just seems pretty cool. And from across the room, it looks, it looks yeah, nice. Yeah, I've got a really uh, sideways view, and it, it, I still see some good textures. Yeah. Wow. What, how? How does one person? I how? know. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. Time alone. Well, is this? It, oh, no, no. It's, it's all got to be. It's not like he's reskinning anything. Fuck. How can one? <laughs> It makes you, I mean, yeah, some, some people just like, oh, I got a vision. I'm just going to do everything well, myself. Just like, doing like Stardew the... Valley is one of those things. It's like that entire game is Entirely made by one Entirely different dude. game. Stardew Valley is now, graphically. I'm, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's like getting a lot of these models and altering them because I mean, that's the okay. thing. Okay. A lot of people I think do all do this is done in Unreal Engine 5. I got you. I got you. Right. So models. I always yes. forget how that world works. Potentially. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I can get a model of a spaceship yeah. and I can alter it yeah, a little yeah. bit, you know. Fair enough. And still then, uh, crazy. I can just program still... it like, oh, we'll go with this whole galaxy. I haven't even been. His brain just puts all this together like, that's easy. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. Yeah, it's pretty it cool. Huh. If you're into space games, give that one a shot. Yeah, like if asked once you saw this footage without knowing anything, how many think, how many think made this game? <laughs> whole bunch and like you yeah, being exactly. asked you'd be like well it's probably low i'd be like Ooh, 15, 50 16 I'd always be laughing no nah, i'm like going super low super because low. you know that's yeah. what i asked yeah one person yeah and he and he also works at target <laughs> yeah. yeah or she or they yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a carpet clean yeah because they've got on the side. yeah because i mean even you what's to, who's to say that this person makes a living off of this we don't know right well i mean it's space born two makes me think there might have been a space born one oh, and i'd so say he's well on his way, way. We yeah uh, someone's gonna take notice and say, i'd like this guy on my team the first yeah. one was like shitty <laughs> it might have been can i go scrap now uh sure all right so uh ada hits me up a couple weeks ago a week ago whatever saying she uh had been just kind of randomly working on this uh racetrack and scrap mechanic and I was like, go send me a screenshot or two. And then she kind of put together this little trailer, threw it up on our, so we could watch it like privately. I was like, oh shit. Okay. And I was like, bam, it popped in my head. I was like, cause I, I didn't know what I was going to do next. Obviously it's been an issue here, but we'll get there. And I was like, fucking just three scraps. It's got history on our channel. Thick loved them. And, and like I had been working on something, um, for a while randomly as well. And I was like, if I put that Three episodes with the the racetrack, make a challenge course, which I um, came up with today, and uh, finish my big last finale. We could have like a little s Olympics. All right. like, it's perfect. This will be mm -hmm. this will be fun. Just kind of bring it back to that. And uh, I think I'm going to start with the with Ada's track, the racetrack. The car is already built. Pretty cool track. Um, anyone at the office who wants to be in on that round, the first round, can be in. And it'll kind of eliminate down to a certain amount. And I'm thinking maybe even asking Scrap Man. We'll see. We'll see. Something like that. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, Do a little collab. Yeah. Bring it down to uh, the second round, which will be the challenge course, which um, it's going to, it's, it's like a bomb transporting challenge. There's three different little challenges, like through a uh, canyon. Okay. A big jump, jump at the end. It, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And then it'll come down to the final two, which I can't be myself. I can't be in the final because i built the last two courses okay you know what i mean the challenge gotcha. course and then the final episode will be a nice big surprise it'll be a good mm. conclusion finale for all the right final i'm intrigued nice. i'm intrigued yeah yeah we hadn't had some olympics. scrap on the channel let's do yeah yeah we'll, we'll 2023 few, scrap olympics a few episodes of scrap why not it'll be a good time yeah i'm excited nice. about it so just wanted to, to to pimp out the scrap if you haven't seen the scraps there's a ton of scrap mechanics on the channel they're all fun in their own right 
Yeah. It was just wide open, creative Ville and stupid shit. But, yeah, it's uh, a lot of fun. Came out. Never of scrap. click with the building in that game. From the <laughs> I know. Shit. I don't know Which why. Blows my mind. Because I know because I'm usually pretty good at this. But for whatever reason, brain. something in scrap just let like, my brain goes. Nope. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's like one of the best building systems. Yeah, it's weird. In any game ever. Wouldn't you agree, Anthony? Yes. You heard it from Anthony. Fo- okay. And just, Anthony's yes, going to be in it. Yes. Oh, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Yes. Now, he's one of the best well, here for sure. Oh, no, absolutely. I agree. Um, is scrap better now with more people in it? That's the only thing. Oh, that like I'm how it couldn't handle that? Yeah. yeah. Significantly. Okay. They always have been improving that. Yeah, yeah. They've worked on that. But game you can still wonk minute. it out, but it's not anything like we used to wonk it out. I remember like five so people many things. Racing shouldn't be bad like it used to be. Uh, yeah, this will be, um, these will be tiers of two. Okay, two against each other because wow. the track's only so big and the car's a certain size. So, gotcha. Um, that game's seven years old now. Came out in 2016. Yeah, man, yeah. they have. It's a hell they've of done, an accomplishment. They've as far done as a game. great job. I mm-hmm. mean, it's core. I mean, yeah. And then we obviously we played the uh, survival version yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, which has come a long way as well. Yeah, uh, which is what it was. Uh, you know, it was like, oh, this is going to be a survival, and we played it for years. Like, okay, in just when? the creative and mode, then when it like, happened, yeah. yeah. So they had a good a foundation for sure. I'm excited about, you know, I'm, I guess I'm on a space kick, but that uh, Starfield coming up. I've been hearing a lot about that, too. Yeah, Bethesda. So, yeah. you know, these guys did Skyrim and Fallout. So, mm-hmm. big studio. And now they're uh, they're doing a spacey game. Build so, your own spaceship. Yeah. Find some space hookers. Uh, multiplayer? <laughs> out there. Yeah. Yeah? No, it's not multiplayer. It uh, is a solo, hanging out at my house, put my headphones on, everybody masturbate. leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. I'm going to get naked and play Starfield. Damn right. That's the only way to play it. <laughs> get star felt. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Star filled up. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Do uh, me, Todd Howard. All right. So I had a I had a couple stories to share. Okay. Um, because I just went on a little trip with the lady. Yeah. Um, to to uh, Jamaica, which was a blast and it was beautiful. I had no idea. I I didn't know how mountainous it was and like junk. I just did. I guess I didn't know. But it was yeah. um, what a beautiful island. Anyway, before we went there, and the reason we decided to go there is because we were going to a wedding she was in up in Chicago, right outside of Chicago first. And we were brought up, we were going to like go to Ireland for this trip, but um, didn't want to go from cold to cold, but still wanted to take advantage of the, um, the nice hub that O'Hare is and decided on Jamaica. So anyway, we go up to Chicago, nice and snowy. They just had a good fresh snow too. Nice. And um, just a couple days and this wedding she's in, it was a friend of hers from, from college. And um, super sweet, super like like quiet, smart. You can tell all this stuff. And uh, her m- new man, uh, they might even hear this, who knows, but a uh, great guy, more of a, a nerdy, um, he's a gamer guy, but you know, super smart, real, real cool guy. Just a great family. We had a great time at the wedding. But I get to hear about um, her friend from, uh, from college. And um, apparently... Back when um, when she went to visit her friend where she grew up, and uh, her friend's father is like still I think in the military, and he's like up there like Colonel. He's you know he's um, whatever. He's been in a minute. And who, who's yeah. who's this that's been in the minute? Her friend whose wedding it was. Okay, her, her I, her I just didn't want to drop it. it. Yeah, yeah, whatever it was. Um, yeah, I think he's still a colonel or whatever. Gotcha. But he used to teach uh, jujitsu. And had, uh, I guess, like a gym above a garage or something like that and taught in that area outside of Chicago. And when when my girl was there visiting her back in the college days, um, she saw all these pictures on this this gym wall of her and Ronda Rousey, her friend and Ronda Rousey. Oh, shit. Which is where she trained. And apparently her friend who was in the wedding who got married um, used to like kick her ass regularly, <laughs> make her cry at times. <laughs> she went to the Olympics. Um, and she was like just a badass in that world, but like never said anything to my girl or her friends at college and stuff. Cause huh. she's just a humble little quiet soul. You know what I mean? Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> and she's just a beast, which just, I don't Damn. know, tickled me. Oh, wow. It tickled me. Yeah. And she didn't want to like do the jujitsu path in her life. Right. Yeah. Like, not interested. Didn't have that character like Rhonda did and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Right. Um, I just love knowing that she used to regularly kick her ass <laughs> and you would meet her and you're like, what? What? Yeah. Now that's <laughs> one amazing. of those things. You I know wake up mean? every Sunday and I go kick Rhonda's <laughs> ass. 
<laughs> Fuck that bitch. That means she could kick any one of our Pretty asses, much, yeah, in including her husband. Easily. And I know he knows yes. this. Yeah. And, and you just you never know, you never know with you know with male or female, but yeah. with female, yeah. or, you know you 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 know when you're a guy, you stereotypical, just the it's, guy, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially if, from thing. the humble sort, you know. What are you yeah. gonna? You're not bragging about shit, even though that's. But I guess there was one time in college where some bigger chick was like just wiling out or whatever and and she went in and got her in some hold like like that right <laughs> and everyone was like what the fuck what, what just happened <laughs> and she had total control she's like just go ahead and get out of here guys go ahead i got this. whatever get What's out of here i'm about pam? to whoop this bitch's yeah. ass is pam on drugs <laughs> Her name's not Pam, Pam but foot in her I'm ass. calling her Pam. That's just a fun story. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, so the, the next story is pretty funny. Um, still in Chicago at O'Hare, and um, we're getting ready to go in and uh, go through security, all that stuff. And I want to run to the bathroom one more time. <laughs> you know, in the morning, you've had your, uh, you get your coffee on and, and whatever. You, you a little gassy in the morning. Oh yeah, so sure. I'm at the, from all the beer last night. Yeah, all the beer last night at the <laughs> wedding. Just beer and right. beans. Oh yeah. So wedding I'm beans, at the yeah. urinal mm. and it's seemingly just empty bathroom here, <laughs> and I'm at the <laughs> urinal pissing, and I let out a little toot, and then I hear yeah exactly, I hear from the uh, one Stall? of the, the stalls. <laughs> like, like <laughs> dueling uh, dueling toots, and then I I was like, what the. Was that just coincidental? Let out another one. <laughs> Go ahead, after. <laughs> and then from the stall, I hear a. <laughs> <laughs> and then behind that second one, I hear a. <laughs> <laughs> like a little. <laughs> he's having For fun. What I could just like hear like he's probably like 15, 16 or something. But we went back and forth a few more times. Really? And just laughed our asses off. <laughs> and that was it. I washed my hands and left. Never <laughs> saw his face? Never. All right, yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Just that's a wonderful just fart connection with a stranger. Like, I love it. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I had to share that. It was impossible. <laughs> that that's was pretty uh, magical. That was kind of magical. Yeah. It's like a glory hole, you know? It's pretty magical when you run across yeah. one. Yeah. And you don't know what's going on, yeah, but you're both you having a good time. Just sharing a connection with someone that you never really meet. Right. It's interesting. It is. Yeah, both wildly different, of course. Yes. Yes. But in a, in a way. In a way they're a, related. A glory hole of the soul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, <laughs> glory hole. Of the, that's a good album name or something. Yeah. Glory hole of the soul. Glory hole of the soul. <laughs> that's anyone's out there. Go ahead and take it. Yeah, yeah. cheers, guys. You go ahead and take You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> and then I'll just uh, the final dumb thing down at um, where we were, this resort in Jamaica. The food was all right. It wasn't as good as the place we went to Mexico. I mean, there was it was, it was the place was great. It was beautiful, but um, I remember one night. Uh, discovering this hot sauce. They asked for some hot sauce, and oh. I got this one hot sauce. Oh, yeah. He's got it here. I, I do have it right oh, here. Oh, you brought it with you? Oh, yeah. No. And when I tried it, I was like, fuck yeah, I love this hot sauce. I was so happy with it, right? And um, like to me, if I were to say what it's like, is like every now and then I do want a Tabasco or something in the realm of a Texas Pete. Yeah. Uh, pretty vinegary, really. Yeah, yeah. But neither of them are the heat level I want. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? I want a little bit more zip. And right. Because those two are so tame. Right. You know? Yeah. And they're popular. But this has just that right amount. It's mm. like on top of that. Oh, yeah. But it's like also, as hot as it gets, to me, it's like that perfect. It's never overwhelming. You're not going to sweat. Yeah. But you get that tingle you want. You okay. know, and it's tasty. Hold on. We're going to oh, get okay. to that. That's fine. So I was like, I got to get some of that. I got to bring some home. And I was like, that's got to be in this in the all the gift shops around the resort and yeah, shit like yeah. that and all that stuff. Couldn't find it anywhere. Not this particular one. Not the hot pepper sauce. They had all these other versions of this shit. What's the what's the brand? Spur Tree. Spur Tree. Okay. Spur Tree. Spur Tree. So I was like, this is probably their Tabasco or whatever. Okay. Um, and my girl went on the website and you couldn't find this. You couldn't find it in any of the shops, anything like that. Every bottle I saw around that they'd have at the bars and stuff like that, they were always... Very little left. Oh my god! And I was like, "Well, before I leave, I got I got to get a bottle, commodity, gotta, man. Whatever, god. you know." Um, and I could have probably asked, right? So it's the last day we're there, and go to this one place where we're eating. It's like right on the ocean, just buffet kind of style, whatever. And I saw a bottle, 
Yo. And I was like, there's like three quarters left in that bottle. I might never get this. There's something going on with this. It's very protected, clearly. Yeah, they're not yeah. selling this anymore. And it wasn't on their site, which is fucking crazy. Lay off for a bottle of hot sauce, right. man. Right. So I was super <laughs> slick. <laughs> you know what the hot sauce, sauce man. This is ours. <laughs> my I bad went into it. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to. Yeah, it's not fresh in my head, but I'm going to do an impression soon. Anyway, um, when we're eating, it's like brunch, I guess, time. I bring it over, and, and we did a really slick thing where distraction. I throw it in her bag, whatever. It's mine. It's mine. I just thieved this hot sauce. <laughs> this I wish this I particular one. Stealing hot sauce yeah. in Jamaica. That's a good scene in a, With, in a TV show or a movie. Within the next on. minute, one of the employees, <gasps> oh, a lady, shit. walks up to the table, and, and I was like, <laughs> she's like, why do you look scared? You oh, know? God. <laughs> I was like, my gut dropped, and I was a little bit like, like mumble lip, like little. Oh, God. You stealing white boy? And I think my girl, I forget what she said. Something like, I don't. Know. <laughs> he did it. She was just coming to ask if we wanted anything to drink. Yeah, but she, she but... didn't see it. But man, my guilt. Oof. Yeah. I got through it, and then we got to the airport, and they're for sale all over the airport. So. <laughs> <laughs> Like every shop. Not even. It's the best. <laughs> oh. It was like an Ocean's Eleven movie, getting this hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Only to find it everywhere. Later. And it's just the shitty fucking schlocky it's their, what it's they their, try to give. To, yeah. It's their Tabasco. Yeah, but, but, but you got to It is try. Tabasco, just you rebranded. Um, he was saying, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to sweat off it or it's not going to be too much, but I'm a, I'm a mild guy. Like I don't like Tabasco. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I am. Uh... So I'm curious. I mean, I'm going to do it. Listen, okay. I'm not trying to troll you. I don't think you were. Yeah. This is like, there's no point. Yeah. I mean, there's uh, yeah. okay. That's a good amount. Yeah, Ooh, so, right off the bat. There. Yes. Right. Off but the bat. it never goes too hard. You get that tang punch. Yeah, it actually, yeah, it's already dissipating. Right. But it's still burning. But it go, it's, yeah, it stays with you. It's tasty and it's tingly. and probably it's got uh, a pretty good pretty good flavor for it. It's not bad. Mm. No, yeah, it goes away quick. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is good. So he, like in food, it was like that. Ah, you bowl some potatoes in that shit. Yeah, dude. Potatoes yeah. yeah. and eggs. Yeah, mm. I wanted to make a bunch of stuff with this or at least mess around with some stuff, you know? Hell yeah. It's like a really approachable, but it goes so much hotter than like Tabasco mm. or... Uh, or like Texas Pete for sure. I'm gonna start a hot sauce channel on YouTube. Nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I still like almost prefer sriracha with everything, including fried chicken. But mm, this was, yeah. Like, I almost got busted for. Uh, I almost went to jail, guys. Yeah. Uh oh. What'd you do now? Oh, yeah. I always stole hot sauce. Stole the hot sauce. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys? Uh... <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, God. What's he in for? Hot sauce thievery. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> well, hot sauce caper. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It was a lovely, relaxing trip. Nice. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm ready for a trip. I got out of town, went to Moorhead City this weekend. Oh, good. Went and saw my parents. Lazed about for a day. God, I was ready for that. Just a day of not doing shit. And great mm -hmm. weather. We had great weather. Yeah. It was windy. Like, um, yeah, one night the winds got up to oh, like the 40 miles an hour. They were, that was crazy. Yeah. That like, was damn. like a uh, tropical storm yeah. almost for us. Yeah. It might have been technically. I don't know. Well, well 40, 40 doesn't miles an hour. But, it's but it's like tropical storm, maybe. Because like up to sixty is tropical storm. Are you sure? Well, sixty-five is a hurricane, category one. That's what I'm mistaken. saying. Like so tropical storm. Below starts. that yeah. is sixty, and below that's tropical storm. It yeah. might start yeah. at yeah, 40, like forty to sixty. Like that. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's no joke. It was breezy. Yeah, but a uh, but a nice kind of warm breezy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hey, what, Moorhead City, that's another place like Wilmington. That's just going to keep growing and growing and growing. And there's only yep. one direction to go. Yeah, there's only one way in. <laughs> it's like here. The other way's the ocean. It's like Wilmington, yeah. It's just like, yeah, there's one way in. Yeah. And then, uh, God, yeah. And this, this city has no infrastructure for all these people we're putting here. No. It's and like, there's really nothing. Crazy. Yeah, it's kind of And nuts. then, yeah, it's like, what are you, yeah, you going to do about it? I like, got all these people. What are we going to do with all this traffic? And everybody listening to this right now is like, where they live is like, shit. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. It seems like everywhere, like, I want to go I want to go somewhere where people are leaving. It's a, yeah, infrastructure is 10 years behind. Oh, yeah, for sure. Across the country. Easy. Yeah. Almost yeah. everywhere. Check well, out it, those yeah. trains, huh? <laughs> <laughs> trains. That just makes me think of that chemical shit. 
Yeah, oh, I mean, that's yeah, why I brought God, it up. what a mess. But, but we'll move on. Yeah, right. biggest what mess. Absolute mess. And I'll throw this out there, too, just because uh, if you're here, if you're still here, you probably... Uh, <laughs> After my stories. You probably... No, I think your stories are great. I got nothing. Um, I just <laughs> yeah, my I, weekend was pretty boring. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucking God. A, man, totally. <laughs> Which I, was just, I needed a boring weekend. It was great. I did mess around with ChatGBT. Maybe I'll go back Ooh. to that for a second. But, um, yeah, just the last podcast and all the love again from thick and no you know, we're all still just yeah. friggin adjusting to this it seems weird to not sit here and talk a lot about it but you know what it's it's i don't know at he, the same time like i'm looking at a picture right now that's five feet away of of thick sitting here holding a guitar yeah. given a given the look on his face of oh, like i'm judging you and yeah. pointing his finger and i <laughs> super thicky love it it's fucking great i love it somebody too. sent it to us we're gonna hang it up here we considered hanging it up over the the toilet just it would be perfect if he was <laughs> yeah, looking I, down because yeah. i would be... lo- i would love it above the toilet <laughs> and he, anytime we go pee he's just pointing at us and he's like he would <laughs> love it too motherfucker. yeah and he will love it yeah and i think i brought it up like when when I got back from that trip, you know, I was just thinking about that first day recording and just not dreading it, but like dread, like just, I don't know, like what's it feel like? And you guys had been recording while I was gone a little bit, but I mean, I just, you feel him here. You feel him here. He's here. Like, yeah. He's oh, absolutely like here. here and all the stupid shit is still <laughs> loved by him. And it, it's, yeah, man. It, what do you, you have to go on. Yeah. He's absolutely still with us in every fucking way imaginable. Yeah, it's just it is it is strange. Just thinking even right now, you go like, oh well, there's Neebs isn't here. You go like, oh, but neither is fucking Tony, mm-hmm. and he's not coming back. Yeah. yeah. So it's like fuck. And even though he wasn't in videos for a while, you know, just it the fact that he's still actually gone, you yeah. just go like, fuck. We yeah, all felt really, really good gonna... that he was still, you know. Like there was comfort knowing he was still around. Yeah, and, still yeah. here. You can yeah, still, and you know, and and even towards the end, like he was, want, he was coming back to the office yeah. more. You know, because yeah. he wanted, you know, he wanted to be here more, which was great. So we got lucky there yeah. to be able to, yeah, hang out with him. Great yeah, fucking laughs there. Good guy. But we got, got all the videos. I've been reading a lot of comments, like you know, watching through this or that. I read one comment today. It's like, I was watched through the first Neepsylvania. It's amazing how little you see thick because it was just one camera. Yeah. Yeah. And he watched the whole He's fucking gone. thing. Yeah. He's it's like, like, he was never fucking there. He's always out. Like, he yep. may have added his, his audio after the fact. Maybe. <laughs> like, he was never recording with us. Yeah. He's yeah. got to get that loop before we do, man. Oh, He's got to yeah. be the first to get there. And throw a game like Minecraft with a random random gen shit you know he's oh, just God, gone yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's gone <laughs> he's got that he had that thing man it's like he's a, a loot goblin through and through i got half of it but you know uh, yeah he yeah. has the, all of it I, I even i saw a couple of tributes i saw one tribute and uh it was an arc but someone had uh put together this building it was mm, yeah. beautiful i think i know what you're talking about and yeah. right and then until the end end was the overhead shot so okay, yeah, it was it, it was uh it. it was a base that was built and you look at okay that's good that's good there's a dragon here there's purple the... it says thick and then and then it zooms up overheads for the bird's eye view and it's it's his logo oh mm-hmm. okay awesome it's the bet, 44 right. thing yeah. and uh which makes me think and it looked awesome which also made me think of a lot of probably people a nightmare out. to get your way around in oh yeah I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure but it was obvious like I'm like did this guy like even because. I was thinking, is this guy just showing off a fucking base that he threw in four thick? All right, put some like, purple lights four on thick, it. There's purple stuff and a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end, they needed to see. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, Probably seen, still yeah, people been to... building stuff in Ark. I've seen people build stuff in seven days. Yeah. Like, oh, I, for sure. A little memorial. Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft for Minecraft, sure. Yeah. A lot of people in Minecraft too. Nah, it's seen all um, that stuff online. The artwork some people produce. Yeah, I was, was just going to so say comforting. Probably amazing. Probably easier to get around. In that base than the base that Ada built for you and I. Oh then. God, that fucking Still. base. Because that's it was. John Fury. Which that's one? The base that you. Oh, you thank know. you for. Oh, it's John, Fury. Yeah. John Fury. Listen, I was I about lo- to blame John Fury for Ada's base. Right. Um, <laughs> is it pretty? Didn't have to build it. Protective, but to get around. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we, that yeah. was the problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, another thing that was pointed out to in void train a couple of times i guess when you were driving through a certain oh, area oh yeah that one the one you could kind of see the the pyramid that we were going into kind of yeah, resembles yeah. the symbol as well for yeah thick anyway void thick. train that's Fuck another it. one i'm looking forward to void train yeah uh what yeah, d- you, being a series yeah potentially when it comes out if, i mean like there's that more out than it? we know but um 
Oh, you mean because it's when it comes out, out like finished? Cause yeah, it, it was fun. Yeah, this was a demo. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. it was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. I think uh, Neves is kind of ho hum on it, but I, 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 I'm curious to see where it goes. It, when, because it was like a grind fest. It was just like a. You know, I mean, a little. Bit. It's, it's got that that element sure. to it. I mean, but, I mean, um, all of. I feel like all of those games, or all of these survival games, yeah. are very grindy, especially at the beginning. Yeah. But when they like, had those dangers in, like yeah. the the pictures suggested and stuff like that, when that stuff, yeah. and if you can like hijack those trains or like take the parts and like make yours just gigantic, yeah, like raftish, you know, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. You start with a little thing, and then by the end of it, you got this like big monster, yeah. like weaponized train. Like, and the little cool. pull up and jump out journeys that yeah. could be many and many of, uh, you know, and all the other creatures. They and got it just from the demo. I'm like it's a solid foundation. You can see it's where a it could solid go, foundation yeah. for a survival mm-hmm. I'm with game. You. I'm with so, you. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. And Thick, I think shit. somebody saw a comment about like, um, but yeah, if Thick was playing with us, he would have been so like he was on a leash because you can only go so far. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Get that it. puppy just Get can't it. go out. You know, fuck out. Fuck. I wonder if like eventually like you can extend that leash and that'd be cool. Yeah. Again, another game design thing that would be dope. You get a fucking leash extension. Yeah. What? Yeah. Go further. Collect more resources. Damn right. Yeah, be in. People seem to like. Well, uh, I think they did. Mist the mist. Yeah. Mist. That was uh, like the old game. Mist. The, oh, the, the one mist that we survival. just did. Yeah. Sorry. I'm like the old yeah, puzzle I'm game. Yeah. sure kicked my ass. <laughs> barely. Oh, yeah. You said barely or apparently. Barely. Okay. So well, that's not an ass. I, I gave up at the end. I just wanted because we had played like we were getting over three hours at that point. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and I just knew, <laughs> but I'm glad that he got it together. Uh, got the car together. That is. Mm-hmm. Spoiler. For those who didn't see it, yeah. But that was fun. It was. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wish. That, yeah, because uh, we were looking at that game to possibly do a series in, yeah. but like, it's just there's, there's no story. There's not a lot to it other than just run around and survive. Give five years, gonna be money. Might be. Who knows? Let me show you guys this. I ran into this video the other day. This video is a year old. Okay. But just this in and of itself made me go, whoa. Oh. <laughs> We've come a long way. Yeah. Where it's like. Okay, they're giving Alexa a face, even though this isn't Alexa. It's like Amico, whatever her name is. Alexa already, well, she already looks annoyed at us. Yeah. Break a finger. <laughs> Look at that. Then now she yeah. talks oh, to you, right? Oh, man, wow. Right, just the eye movement and everything. Yeah. And the lip sync's like, not good. No, no, but. No, no, but it's come a, it's come a ways. The yeah. eyes yeah. are... And yeah, the, it's like, the back and forth, the eye. Yeah, no, randomly. the eyes The eyes are approaching that uncanny valley where it's like, oh, my God, is this thing thinking? Have you guys ever seen Ex Machina? Ex yeah. Machina? Ex Machina. Oh, yeah. I, pr- I didn't know it was yeah, pronounced. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah, yeah so it, was it absolutely really good movie. reminded me of, of that. Of that movie, yeah. yeah. We're fucked. We're all fucked. But I see this and like, have my, I'm also like, is this CG? Yeah, it's a good question because <laughs> deep fakes and shit. Right. It's uh, like, it oh, what am I looking be, at? Well, we'll see soon enough. Yeah, because if it's not, you would think it's in another realistically... Just 15 years, I'll you're t- probably going to have a hard time telling with the talking. Yeah, I'll tell you next week. I ordered one, so I'll let you know. <laughs> Sex <laughs> robot. Yeah. You're leaving a bad review, if not. I would yeah. I would absolutely uh, have a sex robot <laughs> if it was <laughs> Why not? reasonably priced. Why wouldn't Why not? Right? Reasonably right. priced, yeah. yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Something I can pretend to love. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, it's hard enough to find people to love me. If I could just program someone to love me, and they could fool me half the time. <laughs> yeah, you, know? you got a good argument there. Yeah. Yeah, if I, yeah, man, if I got a sex robot, it would probably leave me. So, so now, now you can just title this episode Sex Robots. Oh, that would be good. That'll sex Robots, really which one of us is getting one first? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, um, just seeing this AI stuff pop up more and more. Oh, for sure. It's yeah. so, like, I'm I'm intrigued, and you're, like, you're fearful of the technology because, you know, you immediately think, how are people going to use this to manipulate others? Oh, for sure. But at the same time, it's like, man, this is it's so cool. The manipulation's going to happen. That's inevitable, and it's also not going anywhere, so yeah. embrace it. Yeah. <laughs> not the there's, manipulation, there's been, but the technology. Oh God, I, right. forgot, I forgot the name of the channel. I've seen, there's, a, there's a guy that's been doing, like, Obama, Trump, and Biden – on comms like talking about video games wow and the script is really the script's really good yeah but it's and, written by the script's written by yeah, him he not, wrote, not that's the thing the he wrote the script and he actually went in and took the audio files and like layered them on top of each other so it sounds like oh, a gotcha. conversation they're interacting sure yeah but yeah it was it's like they're rating zelda games <laughs> 
That's fantastic. And it's oh, yeah. like that's great comedy to mm-hmm. see. Yeah, yeah. Trump, Biden, and Obama raiding Zelda games and just talking shit to each other. It's, it's perfect. So I went into Chat GPT. Now that's just text. Yeah. yeah. Now what you were just talking about is audio. Yes. All right. So that's in a different. What would you know? What is I don't a know good what platform program, to get the audio. I don't audio? know what program that was generated like, in. Because no. the the Trump impression was okay. The Obama sounded the, the closest to me. Yeah. And then there was what was the other one? Biden. Biden. Okay. And then Biden was pretty good. Yeah. Biden was like a like yeah, a, Trump was a little off. Trump I, was yeah. off. Like, was like eh. who's what's that impression of where Biden sounded like uh, an okay Biden impression? Where Trump, if you didn't tell me it was Trump, I'd be like, who's that? There yeah. might be no science to this, but I'm. I would just guess that lower, bassier voices would be easier. I don't know why, hmm. but I mean, there might be something there. Yeah, because uh, Trump and Biden, you know, obviously higher than you know, Obama got the right down here. You know, yeah. Who knows? Oh, and then yeah. there's the art one. I forget. I tried to. I think I signed up for the one that you would use, but I forget. Mid Journey. Mid. Yeah, I, I played around with Mid Journey because we made those dumb yeah. images of like, oh, let's try to make our art characters in Mid Journey, yeah, and they're gorgeous. And yeah, they're funniest. Oh, yeah, look, they look and amazing. Weird as shit, yeah, but yeah. I. I, if I had an idea that I thought it'd be fun to, uh, for like a video, maybe even if it was on the dumpster, chat GPT interview Simon. First, I had to see if it knew who I was. So I was like, you know, Simon Neves Gaming, who is this? Or do you know who it is? And he said, yes, he's a part of this group, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, ask him questions. And then the 20 questions he came up with are all just super general questions about gaming because they knew that I was a gaming character. So I'm like, oh, well, you know what? Uh, ask me. Or I said, well, do you know what Simon's personality is from Neebs Gaming? And then it got into like kind of a detailed breakdown that was, you know, absolutely could have been talking about me. Yeah. And then I said, all right, same thing, but for Absro. And that's where it got a little bit funny. What did it uh, What did it say about me? God, that you were like it was talking like you were like calm. You brought reason to the, you know, <laughs> to the to the group. Wow. Like you were. It did say that you were a good gamer. So I'm like, all right, that that part's right, but it seemed like it was more like describing Neebs, I think, than you or okay. a combination of somebody else. Where me, it was talking about like how I don't know, I was sarcastic, and I don't know. I, I wish I could pull it up, but I can't because it's not. You gotta saved. teach it. All right, we'll try uh, but, it again sometime. But it was it was interesting. There's definitely something we could do there with these AI yeah. programs that are God, available. I'm just wondering, yeah, when does it hit that point where they develop one so damn good that it's like, oh my God, this is a thinking thing. Yeah. And is it really thinking or is it just mimicking thinking? In the, in the, it seems like right now it's mimicking thinking, but yeah, no, yeah, right well, now it, it all seems really dumb. Like yeah. even chat GPT, yeah, it'll just provide some dumb answers. Yeah. And they've had that for, <laughs> I remember, I've seen, actually, uh, sorry, there was a, there was a, um, there was a great thread where a guy went into a chat GPT or one of these AI systems and convinced the AI that two plus two equals five. Wow. He kept going like AI, you know, Hey, what's two plus two? The AI was like four. He's like, no, that's the wrong answer. You're giving me the wrong answer and kept fighting with it until the AI just was like, okay, okay. Two plus two equals five. Unless it was like, I'll make this human <laughs> shut up. There you go. But it's a great thread of this guy just arguing with this AI. Chat right. GPT has been around for a long time, right? Well, how long? I don't know. So, because when I lived with um, Brian and, and danger, I, there was an app and I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a uh, chat bot. Maybe it was chat bot. It was just called Chatbot. Okay. But that's like that's like a decade ago. Yeah, I don't know. And it was yeah. kind of impressive then. Like it would I would I was just like fucking with it just to see. And it was talking and talking and like you know, obviously not as smart as these days. And then it would kind of get off the rails eventually. Yeah. Okay. I know a lot of people are using the tech, like, you know, websites yeah. for you know, QA, you know, oh, or you yeah. want to talk to somebody, you know, a company. It yeah. saves him so much time of like, oh, let's just teach this robot everything about the company. Right. And then let it fucking let, let a robot answer it and do all the work screw talking to a person no shit so one of the first things i actually ended up doing my first official question to chat gpt before i got into even asking if it knew who i was was i wanted to know what i thought about whether or not a hot dog was a sandwich so i wrote it (laughs) and it wrote me back i don't have it saved but i'm sure i'm assuming it's going to tell me the same exact thing you would hope i'm going to go back into it oh Unless it's uh-huh. learned. Now, do you have to pay for ChatGPT? Is it Not just this? Okay, yeah, you just use it for free. I know Mid Journey, you can 
you can generate 20 images, and then after that, you got to start paying. Are you willing yeah. to say this is the end all be all answer, Simon? I've uh, no, because I fucking heard it. <laughs> can you convince uh, it that a uh, hot dog is a sandwich? Maybe. Let's see what it says here. The classification of a hot dog as a sandwich is a matter of debate and largely <laughs> depends on how one defines a sandwich. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> that was an easy out. Asshole. That's a politician No, no, answer. but it's still. This yeah. is, if we define a sandwich as any food item consisting of one or more fillings, such as meats, cheese, vegetables, or spreads placed between two pieces of bread, then a hot dog would technically qualify as a sandwich. In this definition, the bread surrounding the filling is what makes it a sandwich. Wow, the last time? That did not say that first. Mm. So it's becoming more convinced. Already, yeah. Yeah. Now, however, some people argue that a hot dog is a distinct food item and should not be classified as a sandwich. They argue that a hot dog bun is a single piece of bread, not two separate slices, and that the filling, in parentheses, the sausage, is not completely enclosed within the bread, as it would be in a typical sandwich. Ultimately, whether or not a hot dog is considered a sandwich is subjective and depends on our own personal interpretations oh. of what constitutes a sandwich. Fuck you, cop out, GPT. Fuck you. <laughs> Cop out, no. GPT. It's a fucking nice, safe bunch of answer. Bullshit. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this is a, well, it's, a very po- it's a politician answer. Yeah, no it shit. Is, but yeah, it, well, it could do this. Or yeah, it it no, I, but I like that. You know what? Because yeah. that's been my position the entire time. It's, like, it's whatever you want it to be. I don't really give a shit. Well, here's the thing. So I'm going to give a thumbs up to this because the last one I gave a thumbs down to. So maybe it's learning, and I've already convinced it. Well, Just you are to a, me. You are a very... Um, <laughs> Influential, impressionable, influential. This is character. how the robots learn. Yep. This is how we teach them. But They're I babies think, right now. But I'm just teaching. This is uh, this. What makes me think? This is my own personal AI. If mm. so, I'm influencing it. It's going to give you whatever it wants. So I guess that's how it works. Like me, if I convince it, it two plus two is five. It's just going to do it for me. Oh, right. You're, I don't know because it seems like you're not with, change. With how it science, works. It's just right. you. Okay. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, I don't have the technical know-how to answer uh, that question. It's right. probably designed to coddle you. Right. That's what <laughs> I'm thinking. This is my. Eventually. I'm making an assumption. Yeah. Yes. Be a robo therapist. Yes. So, that's it. Oh. Yeah. You boy. wonder like what jobs are, gonna, are the robots going to take? So many. <laughs> so, <laughs> so many. Yeah. So many. Oh boy. What would be the first question is to ask, are you AI? And you'd think uh, you'd have a case if it lied to you. You know, AI can be programmed to ask for help and say, I really no, no, know no. what's I'm going on. No, no, I'm just saying and... down the road, yeah. if someone has an issue oh. and you're like, I'd really like to talk to a human, are you AI? You know? Mm. Right. And Down the road. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't answer my question. I need a human. Like, I really want a human, please. <laughs> are you AI? And if they lie, then now you get a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> so there's gonna be it. some interesting lawsuits out of all this stuff. yeah no shit jeez yeah oh good, yeah but off on a happy note um sex bots sex bots we're gonna have sex bots it's gonna be great <laughs> we're gonna have our vr goggles in the metaverse with paying bitcoin and floating <laughs> flashlights <laughs> hovering gonna, flashlights we're gonna get our hooker nfts and we're going to have our sex bots. It's going to be a, an amazing future. Oh, what a future. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, have a great, wonderful rest of your week. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Go get that sex bot. G- if you want. Beep, 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 boop, beep. I'm going to fuck you. Gleep, gleep. Take a dog, take a dog, take a dog, take a dog.